through the greatest storms and tribulations, through times when there is unimaginable darkness, times when one feels drowned and there is no way to express. Everything must be kept silent. Even those times, light lives within. And so, with open arms, connected to the higher source, I give to you what I have always wished for, unconditional love. As I sit in this beautiful garden and I breathe this clean air, I am ever so grateful for the love in my life. There is love in each life. Sometimes it's not visible, sometimes it's not near, but it is within. If you just connect to the beauty of nature, breathe in the brisk air, and just put all of those dragon problems aside, even the ones that overwhelm you to no end. There is love underneath. And the wind is blowing the bamboo trees around me right now. And I'm standing in front of a beautiful stone temple where spirits may or may not live. Nonetheless, there is unconditional love. Of course, it's best when someone can provide it to you 24 hours a day or as you need it. And I had that great, great, great gift. It was my dearest grandmother, Sophia, about whom I wrote a book called Sophia the Great, and whose interview is <clears throat> always available at the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C. God bless her soul. She gave me and gifted me unconditional love and taught me unconditional love. And I gave her unconditional love. And after she passed, I always felt this hole inside that I must fill. Where can I find unconditional love? It took me a long time and it took me a tremendous amount of falling apart to realize that it does exist. It's not as visible and as tangible as it used to be. And that's the issue. Nonetheless, it exists right here and now. Right here and now. I'm breathing in unconditional love. And even though there is tremendous, tremendous discomfort around in the world and in life, I gift to you what I have always loved most and wished for the most, this feeling of unconditional love. It's a protected feeling. It's an amazing feeling where no other thought, no other feeling gets in the way, no problem, no envy, nothing. There's just this immaculate, masterful, spectacular, and exquisite emotion called unconditional love.